spirituality living in the fourth dimension. So many lives are two-dimensional. We do a lot of things in many places as the hours and years pass. But do we live deeply in the third and fourth dimensions of depth and mystery, stopping to pause and recognize the meaningfulness of the moment? Rather, our lives are governed by speed, speed of technology, of travel, of achievement. We live our lives in the fast lane, oblivious to our true purpose, mission, happiness, which are frantically waving, trying to attract our attention, hopelessly trying to catch up. To live deeply means to live spiritually. That does not always mean to live ritually or religiously, though it might, but it does mean to live mindfully, thoughtfully, patiently and deeply. To live in this way requires us to stop the world, the world we have created for our personal selves, and get off to experience the ground zero of momentary stillness. Jewish people have hundreds if not thousands of landmarks that identify the lie of the land, the mitzvot of ground zero. Right there is an agenda and set of goals, albeit a lot of things to do in the short space of 120 years, so get moving. Or better still, stop moving. Pause. Explore beneath the surface of your life, as was advised by Kabbalistic teachers, such as Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai, whose anniversary of passing, his Yorzeit, we celebrate this week on Lagba Omer night of 29th of April and the next day, the 30th. The Rashbi, as he is known by the anachronym of his name, recorded the fourth dimension of Torah, Kabbalah, published a millennium later by Moses de Leon, who named it the Zohar. He, the Rashbi, like his spiritual heirs 1,400 years later, the Hasidim taught us that spirituality means to eat, but to eat consciously, elevating the spark of nefesh that animates the food, to talk, but to say words from the heart that truly reach the other's heart, to dance, but allow the dance to express the dynamics of creation, to sing, but allow the song to carry you to the heights of ecstasy before gently bringing you down back to earth. Jewish spirituality is mystical, profound, and timeless. You find it by stopping and exploring this single moment rather than racing through life to an indeterminate finishing line. It means to scuba dive into the ver veritable sea that is this moment and explore the four subsurface caverns of Pshat, Renes, Drush, and Sod, four levels of depth, exhilarating in the wonderment of the spiritual flora and fauna of timelessness and spacelessness. Then to rise once again to the surface and apply the newly discovered higher consciousness to the seeming ordinary and mundane lifting these to new heights of awareness. A house is not a home. The architectural drawings are not the home. Only the bricks and mortar can become a home. This occurs when the house relates to me personally, becomes my home. It's no longer a 15 foot by 30 foot room nor is it a paint or wallpaper finish. It is an extension of my very soul, an expression of my deepest self, and the result of a symbiotic relationship between physical stone and the human spirit. The physical has become spiritual. There is a wonderful Hasidic teaching that states, God took the spiritual and formed it into the physical. 
Our task is to take the physical and reverse it back into the spiritual. That means to take the stone and transform it into a personal relationship that honors creation. That's spirituality. Spirituality does not mean to escape the world. It means to engage it and lift it to where spiritual horizons lie. So set your bearings to all four dimensions of life and then even higher. 